Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate, and welcome back to a new video. So I'm here back inside Roblox Studio, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own tool shop inside Roblox. So I've already done a few tool shop videos before, but the scripts broke and they weren't that good. Because in the last tool shop tutorial, all the scripts were local, so only the person who bought the tools could see their tools and cash. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix that with a new shop script. So let's get into the video. So the first thing we need to do is actually make the GUI. So I start a GUI, click plus, add in screen GUI, and then name it to tool shop. But inside of this, we can add in a frame, and now you can customize it if you want. Put it somewhere about in the middle, and then I'm just going to quickly get rid of the border, change the background color, and then inside of it, we can add in a text button. So I'm going to have three tools in my shop. So we can have one here, change the background colour. And then I'm also going to get rid of the border pixel down to zero. Make sure the text is scaled and then we can just change font and text. So the first tool is going to be the sword. Just make sure we rename the button to sword 2. Then if we duplicate it, this one is going to be a slingshot. Once again, we can change the text to name. And then the last one is going to be a pistol. And then once again, just change the name and the text. Like that. And this is going to be our shop DUI. The next thing we need to do is actually add in a one last text button. And this is going to be the close button. We could put it about here. Once again, we can just get rid of the board pixel. Change colour edit the text and then this is going to be our close button like this so just rename this close button to close shop and inside of it we can add in a local script we don't have to name the local script we just start scripting so if we do local player equals to game dot players dot local player Go down twice and do script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function then in between these brackets we can type in uh we don't actually have to type anything in we just go down and it will enter to appear a bracket and then in between these two lines we can type in player dot player gui make sure play gui is spelled like that and then dot tool shop dot frame dot visible equals to true actually uh, we, need to change, we need to change this to false so sorry about that so this is going to be our script close it off and then we can just close off our frame and now if you click on the start GUI again to so make sure uh, it's the screen GUI not frame so click the screen GUI click plus add in a text button and then this is going to be our open shop GUI. So once again, if we quickly customize this, I'm going to be renaming it to open shop and changing the font and text color. And once again, just make sure it's inside of the screen GUI and not the frame. And then if we add in a local script, once again, do local player equals game dot players dot local player. Go down twice and do script dot parent dot mouse button one click. Connect function. And then once again, we don't need to do anything between brackets. Any end should appear. And then we could do then we could do player dot player gui dot tool shop dot frame dot visible equals to true this time like that so it's the same as the close shop but just change um false to true and then now if we just click the frame make sure it's invisible and then let's test that out okay so once we load in we click open you see it opens right now these buttons don't do anything but if we click close 
and it closes. And you can see it just opens and closes like that. And then we can actually start going into the scripting. So the first script we need is inside Service Script Service. Click plus, add in a script. Then name this script to leader stats. And then we can remove print hello world and do game dot players dot player added. Connect function. And then we do brackets, we can type in player. Go down, once again, new end should appear with a bracket. And then we can do local leader stats equals to instance dot new bracket speech marks and then folder go down and do leader stats dot name equals to speech marks and then leader stats go down do leader stats dot parent equals to player and that should be it for the leader stats now we need to do local cache equals to instance dot new bracket speech marks and then number value go down and do cache dot name equals to cache or whatever if you want to name your winnie to so just change this to whatever you want it to be called so that could be called anything like coins money cash and stuff like that then go down do cache dot value this time equals to and then this is going to be how much cash the player spawns in with. So just for a tutorial, I'm going to be doing 200. And the last one we need to do is cash.parent equals to leader stats. And that should be it. So if we close it off, click play. Then once we load in, we should have our leader stats in the top corner. If you don't, then make sure you did everything right. So make sure you did all the spelling right, all the right capitals, and all the right full stops and stuff. And you should see the money in the top corner, like that. Once again, this should still work. And then if we click stop and carry on, the next thing we need to do is add in our tools. So inside of serve storage, click plus, add in a folder, and name this folder to tools. Then open the toolbox, find your tools. So I'm gonna be using a sword, find the tool, and then if this window appears, just click no. And then do the same for all your other tools. Then I'm just going to be renaming these quickly. And then once you have all your tools, just select them all in the Explorer. And then drag them inside of your tools folder. Once you drag them inside the folder, you can see they've uh, disappeared. Then just close that off. Now what you can do is inside replicate storage, click plus, add in a folder, and name this to tool events. Now what we're going to be doing is clicking the plus on the tool events folder, add in a remote event, and then name this one to sword event, duplicating it, slingshot event, duplicating it once again, and then this one can be pistol event like that. Then the last thing you need to do, or the last two things we need to do actually, is open up your your tool shop frame, find your buttons and add in a local script into each uh, button. Rename the local script to uh, fire event. Inside this script we can do script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function and then go down then we can do game dot replicate storage dot tool events dot sword event and then fire server with brackets and this should be it for the buttons just make sure that the um, the right event matches up to the right button so sword event matches up to the sword button like that. Copy, paste the same script into each one. But once again, just change this to slingshot event because it's a slingshot button. And then the same one for the pistol. Like that. 
And then the last thing we need to do is actually make the main script. So inside the server script service, click plus, add in a script, and name this to by tools. And inside of it, we can do game dot replicate storage dot tool events dot sword event dot on server event connect function then player go down and hit enter the bit then we can do if player dot leader stats dot cache dot value is higher or equals to and then whatever price you want so I'm going to be doing 10 cash and then we can add in a then go down and then a new entry should appear and then if we do player dot leader stats dot cash dot value equals to player dot leader stats dot cash dot value minus 10 and then the next line we need to do is game dot server storage dot tools because that's the name of our folder and then dot sword clone and then dot parent equals to player dot backpack make sure backpack is spelled like this with a lowercase p but a capital b and then this should be it we can just copy paste that line change sword event to slingshot event and change sword to slingshot and then do the same thing we can also change the price if you want. And then the last one, pistol event. Change this to pistol. Then once again we can change the price. And this is going to be it for this script. If you have more than uh, three tools you could just copy paste a line, copy paste um, or duplicate a event and the same like that. Close off that script, click play, then once we load in, we should be able to buy the tools if we have enough money. So we load in, we have our cache, we open it, we click sword, you can see it takes away the money, and we get a sword in our inventory. You can see we can actually still use tool, because in the last tool shop script, then the, um, the swords and tools didn't actually work. Now let's get an open, slingshot, really some money, and then we can actually use our tool. Then same for the last one, we have our pistol, and you can see we lost more money. And this is going to be it for today's video. If this video helped, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below. In the description you can check out my Roblox group and Discord server, and I'll see you later. Bye!